You mentioned the Lowe's. Well, I found a little bit more about them. Ooh, this yeah. is the 1871 census. Here's your great-grandmother, Alice Lowe's. This is Mother Mac's mother. That's right. Age 21. And just above her elder brother, I suppose, Frank. Mm-hmm. Aged 24. Occupation. Actor. Yes. Oh, stop it. <laughs> To find out more about his paternal grandmother, Alice, Ian's heading north to Cheshire, where she lived with her husband, William McKellen. Born Alice Murray, after her marriage, Ian's grandmother became known to all as Mother Mac. When my grandmother died, Mother Mac, her son, my father, Dennis, made this. And it's just a collection of letters that were written to the family. And uh, here's a tribute to her. Mrs. McKellen, uh, Mother Mac, had an excellent mezzo-soprano voice. The story I was told was that her granddad, Mr. McKellen, met his future bride because he'd enjoyed her singing. Mother Mac and her husband, William, were both active members of a religious movement called Christian Endeavor, which aimed to improve the lives of inner-city workers during the early 20th century. They lived just outside Stockport for over 40 years and worshipped here at Hatherlow Church. Hello, how are you? Hello, Ian. Religious historian Martin Palmer has been researching Ian's family history. We're going in. Please, come on in. So, Ian, welcome to what is, in a sense, your dynastic church. This is a record going back to 1846 of the um, baptisms that took place here. August the 20th, 1939. Why is my name in here? Because you were baptised. I was baptised here? Yes. And we even have the font at the front there that you were baptised in. Well, does that mean I'm going to heaven? Yes, I'm afraid so. That's fine. So this was our family church. When Mother Mac was here, well, she was a huge figure in the Sunday school, in the choir, particularly the choir. Well, the family story is that Grandad McCallum heard her singing. Well, in 1902, the Christian Endeavour movement held a huge gathering in Manchester. The main event at which your grandmother sang was at the Free Trade Hall, which held 10,000 people. And this oh, is oh the programme for this event. Oh, Secretary, Mr. W. H. McKellen. So this is my grandfather. It's a funny feeling, seeing your own yeah. name. Yeah. Mr. McKellen, because I'm the only Mr. McKellen I know, but <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is the opening grand ceremonial event. May 17th, 1902, Free Trade Hall. Well, there's a hymn, and then there's a prayer. Solo. Miss Murray, my grandmother. And let's put that in context. You probably had a thousand churches sent people to this event. Each yes. of them would have had a choir, 30, yes. 40 strong. Each of them would have had someone who thought that they were the bee's knees as far as singing. The fact that your grandmother was chosen to give the solo, this is Britain's Got Talent, circa 1902. She must have had some f notes, wasn't she? She certainly must have done. Anything else you know about Alice? I have found her birth certificate. Alice Beatrice, yes, mm -hmm. August 1879, 3 Barton Road, Stretford. Central Manchester, isn't it? Yeah, edge of inner city Manchester. Her father was William White, with a Y, Murray. And her mother, also called Alice, was formerly Lowe's. You mentioned the Lowe's. Well, I found a little bit more about them. Ooh, this yeah. is the 1871 census. Here's your great-grandmother, Alice Lowe's. This is Mother Mac's mother. That's right. Aged 21. And just above her elder brother, I suppose, Frank. Mm-hmm. Aged 24. Occupation. Actor. Yes. Oh, stop it. <laughs> actor. Yes, actor. <laughs> So, Mother Mac's uncle Frank was a professional oh, actor. Oh, stop it. 
You're not the first. Your great great uncle beat you to the stage. <laughs> well, that's all right. <laughs> Frank had just begun his theatrical career and was living with his family in Manchester. So here we have the playbills for the Queen's Theatre in Manchester. Oh, how beautiful. And we have here True Steel. What mm. year are we here? We're 1876. And a uh, list of characters. Oh! Oh, ever since I heard about him, I've been thinking about him. Mr. Frank Lowe plays Charles Williams. Let's show you <laughs> another... I mean, I've only just discovered that there's another actor in the family. Ah. Uh... But a little confusion. On the census, his name mm. is not Lowe, but Lowe's, with an S. Mm. Yes. We sure we've got the right man? Yes, absolutely. He's just cut yeah. to Frank Lowe. And then I'm going <clears> to <throat> turn over again. Always ready. A In... North Country story. That's the important bit, With I North think. Country actors like, look here, yes. Frederick Lauder, played by Mr Frank, Frank Lowe. This is a sensational melodrama. Yeah. It's about money, it's about morals and virtue and seduction. And these start to arrive in the 1850s and 60s. I'm sorry, I've just seen in the next play, they did two plays on the they same did. day. He's playing yeah, a leading he's... part. Yes. The Reverend Mr Webb is played by Mr Frank Lowe. Yes. This is really quite a plum part for him. Let us feel Theatre Royal, Arana Boyne. Arana Pogue. Oh, Aaron Apogue was produced yeah. here on Monday by the company from the new Queen's Theatre Manchester and has been favourably received during the week. Miss Lillian Harris plays the heroine with great pathos. Mr Frank Lowe, however, deserves the laurels for his masterly conception of the sneak, Michael Feeney. He looks and acts the character to the life. You know, wow. you could not have a better review than that. Nope.